Ulysses by James Joyce Ulysses is a novel written by James Joyce in 1918, first published in instalments between March 1918 and December 1920 on the American journal The Little Review. As a novel, it was first published in 1922. The whole novel takes place on a single day, Thursday, June 16th, 1904, which was special to Joyce because it was the day he met Nora Barnacle, his future wife. During the course of this day, three main characters wake up, have various encounters in Dublin and go to sleep 18 hours later. The central character is Leopold Bloom, a middle-aged newspaper canvasser and non-practicing Jew who represents Joyce's everyman. Stephen Dedalus, the protagonist of A Portrait of an Artist as a Young Man, becomes momentarily Bloom's adopted son. He represents the alienated artist. Bloom's wife, Molly, a voluptuous singer, is planning an afternoon of adultery with her music director. Regarded by most critics as the prose masterpiece of modernism, Ulysses' greatest importance lies in its depth of character portrayal and the wide scope of its humour. The book is especially famous for its use of the interior monologue or stream of consciousness technique, which opened up a whole new way of writing fiction, indicating that the rules by which we try to govern our lives are constantly at the mercy of accident, chance encounter and oddities of the mind. As its title suggests, Ulysses is related to Homer's great epic The Odyssey, the tale of Odysseus and his travels after the Trojan War. Joyce used the Odyssey as a structural framework for his book, arranging its characters and events around Homer's heroic model, with Bloom as Ulysses, Stephen as his son Telemachus, and Molly as the faithful Penelope. Ulysses is the climax of Joyce's creativity and sums up the themes and techniques he had developed in his previous works. It was designed as a detailed account of ordinary life on an ordinary Dublin day and Joyce planned each movement of each character on each street as though he were playing chess. He placed them in houses he knew, drinking in pubs he had frequented, walking on cobblestones he retraced. He made the very air of Dublin, the atmosphere, the feeling, the places, almost indistinguishable, certainly inseparable, from his human characters. Consequently, Dublin becomes itself a character in this novel. This use of the mythical dimension to provide a shaping background for his modern epic is called The Mythical Method by T.S. Eliot, who sees the heroic prototype as a constant reminder of how greatly our modern age has fallen. Ulysses Mr. Leopold Bloom ate with relish the inner organs of beasts and fowls. He liked thick giblet soup, nutty gizzards, a stuffed roast heart, liver slices fried with crust crumbs, fried hen cods rolls. Most of all, he liked grilled mutton kidneys, which gave to his palate a fine tang of faintly scented yodin. Kidneys were in his mind as he moved about the kitchen softly, writing her breakfast things on the humpy tray. Jellied light and air were in the kitchen, but out of doors gentle summer morning everywhere. Made him feel a bit peckish. The coals were reddening. Another slice of bread and butter. Three, four, right. She didn't like her plate full. Right. He turned from the tray, lifted the kettle off the hob, and set it sideways on the fire. It sat there, dull and squat. Its spout stuck out. Cup of tea soon. Good. Mouth dry. The cat walked stiffly round the leg of the table with tail on high. Meow. Oh, there you are, Mr. Bloom said, turning from the fire. The cat mewed in answer and stalked again stiffly round the leg of the table, mewing. Just how she stalks over my writing table. Purr. Scratch my head. Purr. Mr. Bloom watched curiously, kindly, the lithe black form. Clean to see. 
The gloss of her sleek hide, the white button under the butt of her tail, the green flashing eyes. He bent down to her, his hands on his knees. Milk for the pussin? He said. Meow. The cat cried. They call them stupid. They understand what we say better than we understand them. She understands all she wants to. Vindictive too. Wonder what I look like to her? Height of a tower? No, she can jump me. <laughs>